Kyrios Michalis from the Sunday School at the Church of Crow's Nest, which is dedicated to Michael the Archangel. A very warm welcome to today's Katotero lesson. And what a relief that we can at last start seeing again all the people we love and play again with our friends. I will begin by asking you a question which you can think about as you follow the lesson. Have you shown courage? Have you been brave? during some of the days that you might have found difficult during the lockdown. Today, we will go to the city of Thessaloniki in Greece, where our story takes place. Thessaloniki is in the northern part of Greece, and it is today a modern and vibrant city. We are going to talk about two saints. Can you guess who they might be? I'm sure many of you know who we're going to talk about today, but for those who don't, can you guess as we remove the tiles from the icon? There's the first saint we're going to talk about. <clears throat> and there is the second saint. So who are they? That's right, Saint Nestor and Saint Demetrius. Now, St. Demetrius was born around 280 AD, and he grew up in Thessaloniki during the reign of the Emperor Maximian. God had given Demetrius many physical and spiritual virtues. He was strong, a brave soldier, but also kind and humble. All his good qualities made him much loved by both the rulers and the people. Demetrius, being wise, innocent, blessed, and good-natured, became a great teacher and apostle. He started one of the first Sunday schools. However, Demetrius did not escape the persecution of the Christians by the Roman idolaters. One day, while preaching, he was seized by the Roman soldiers and taken to the Emperor Maximian. When St. Demetrius proclaimed that Jesus Christ is the real God and King, Maximian ordered him to be imprisoned in a filthy and stinking dungeon. Meanwhile, the emperor had arranged for games and gladiatorial combats to take place in the city, where the people who lost ended up being killed. One of Maximian's men, called Laeus, 
was a very tall and strong fighter. However, a young man from Thessaloniki, Nestor, who was a secret Christian and a friend of San Demetrios, saw Laios killing people and how the Roman rulers enjoyed the barbaric spectacle. Wanting to experience the power of the real God, he went to where San Demetrios was imprisoned and asked the saint to bless him so that he may get courage to go and fight against Laios. Then Demetrios made the sign of the cross on Nestor's forehead and said, Go, and you shall vanquish Laios, and you shall suffer martyrdom for Christ's sake. When Nestor went to fight Laios, Maximian tried in vain to stop him, as he saw that he was only a young man, not nearly as strong and powerful as Laios. Nestor approached Laios, pulled off his overcoat and cried, God of Demetrius, help me! With his sword, he struck Laios in the center of his heart, killing him instantly. Maximian was furious and he ordered Nestor to be beheaded. And so Nestor suffered martyrdom, just as Demetrius had said. Maximian, extremely upset, went to the palace whispering to himself, by the power of the great gods, witchcraft killed my friend Laios today. When he learned that St. Demetrius had blessed Nestor to kill Laios, he ordered his soldiers to go to the dungeon and kill him. Whoever loves me should go and kill Demetrius, he said. The first spear struck St. Demetrius' right side, for as soon as Demetrius saw the soldiers, he raised his right hand so that he would be speared. That was how St. Demetrius suffered martyrdom. He sacrificed himself for the sake of Christ, just as Christ was crucified for all humanity. His body was thrown into a well, and later the holy Christians took it out of the well and buried him. From the grave of St. Demetrius there came holy myrrh, which cured many diseases. For this reason he is called Miroglitis, or myrrh-bearing. A short time later, the persecution ceased and a little church was built over the grave of St. Demetrius. Many miracles have occurred at this grave over the years. And today in Thessaloniki, there stands a grand cathedral over St. Demetrius's grave. So children, when you are faced with any difficulty, remember the bravery and courage of St. Demetrius and Saint Nestor. They are shining examples of the heights a young person can reach through faith and love for God and his neighbor. As we saw, Nestor wasn't the strongest physically, but it was the strength of his faith in God which helped him defeat the powerful Laos. And as Saint Paul tells us in his first letter to the Corinthians, stand fast in the faith, be brave, be strong. Learning about our saints and our faith at Sunday school helps us face the difficulties of life with courage. We honor the memory of Saint Demetrius on 26th of October and that of Saint Nestor on the next day, the 27th of October. And remember, boys and girls, to download the activity sheet, which you can find in the link below. Goodbye and take care.